Is the Cybertruck a real truck? A lot of people think that the Cybertruck isn't a truck. In fact, most people who have shown the image of the Cybertruck to say that's not a truck. And the reason being, it doesn't have a bed. Now, if you've been following Tesla or just the Cybertruck or seen any images, you know that the Cybertruck does in fact have a bed and a pretty big one at that, at about six and a half foot. So I show them the image of the bed open and then they finally see, yep, that's a pickup truck even though it looks very, very different from any other pickup out on the market. So this got me thinking, do people actually think the Cybertruck isn't a real truck? And sure enough, after typing that question into Google, I got many articles relating to the Cybertruck not being a truck. And this is followed up by many people online saying that the Cybertruck isn't a real truck. It doesn't do truck stuff, whatever truck stuff are. So like I said, if you've been following Elon or just Tesla in general, or have seen the unveil of the Cybertruck even, you know that the Cybertruck is definitely a truck. So what caused this confusion in the first place? Well, the Cybertruck just doesn't look like a truck. Look at any other truck on the market today and you can see that it has a crew cab or just a cab in general for people to sit, driver to drive the vehicle, but that's about it. And then you actually get the bed where you can just haul stuff, put whatever you want and it's just that type of a design. In fact, if you go back about 70 years, the pickup truck design hasn't really changed at all really. And so even 70 year old pickup trucks, they look like a truck, but the cyber truck that's coming out right now that looks completely different. So the Cybertruck has a six and a half foot bed. Now we don't know how wide the bed is because if you look at any image of the Cybertruck, the bed actually has no wheel arches and that means that there's obviously no intrusion into the bed. So it is a flat bed, which is obviously a good thing, but is the bed wide enough? That's what we don't know. So can you fit like a four foot wide sheetrock or plywood or anything like that into the bed without, you know, slanting it up onto one wall? Is that possible even? And this is one of the questions that we don't know the answer to. Now my prediction is that hopefully Tesla has thought about this and that they've actually made the bed wide enough so it can accommodate sheetrock and or plywood. But then again, this is just a prediction, a conjecture if you will, and we don't really know what's gonna happen to the real truck. So we have to actually wait for people to get their trucks, measure their bed and just see what they can actually fit into it. Like I was saying, the design of the Cybertruck is odd. Even upcoming trucks like the new Rivian that's coming out in the future, hopefully this year, doesn't look like the Cybertruck or doesn't even resemble the Cybertruck in any way, shape or form. It looks like a regular pickup truck. And if you show an image with the Cybertruck next to a Rivian and you ask them which one's a pickup truck, they would obviously point to the Rivian and say, yep, that's a pickup truck. But with the Cybertruck, because it just doesn't look like a pickup truck, especially because you can have that triangular bed cover, whatever that thing is called, the vault, and you can actually cover the bed up. You can't actually see the bed when it's entirely loaded up, so it just looks like something weird. Something out of a feature movie, futuristic Blade Runner, or something like that. The Cybertruck literally looks like one of those houses that I used to draw in elementary school with just wheels on them, and a bit stretched out. I personally really love the Cybertruck, I love what it can do and everything, but to normal truck buyers, it just doesn't look like a truck. And that could really hinder their sales. Now, obviously, Tesla has actually said, or Elon said, that if the Cybertruck does struggle to sell, they can obviously go back and design a regular pickup truck that looks like pretty much everything else on the market. Now, one reason why people don't like the Cybertruck could simply be it's different. And a lot of people just don't like change in general. They hate change even though change is inevitable, but they just hate change. They don't want something new. It's weird. It's, you have to learn. They just don't want change. And this Cybertruck is completely new. They've pretty much never seen a truck like it. If you go online, go to any forum talking about the Cybertruck and you can just go on Reddit, go on F-150 forums and just say, yo, what do you think about the Cybertruck? And they'll be like, it looks ugly. It is terrible. It's not a real truck. You can't do truck things in it. Blah, 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 blah. Everything, even though they've never even seen what it can do, except for the images that Tesla has put out. Except for that, they've seen nothing what it can do. One thing that we've overlooked, or a lot of people actually overlook, especially Tesla people that actually talk about the pickup truck or the cyber truck, they kind of discount loyalty. Truck buyers are extremely loyal. They're gonna buy whatever truck they've actually grew up with. So for example, if their dad had like a Ford F-150 for pretty much their entire life and only bought Ford, worked at a Ford factory, they're only gonna buy a Ford truck most likely. They're very disincentivized to change to another manufacturer, let alone a completely different truck that looks nothing like any other truck, which can possibly do truck things. 
Maybe? That's what they think. So if people who buy a Ford F-150 for their entire life or just a Dodge Ram for their entire life and they pretty much never even look at what the other truck can do, how is Tesla going to fare with their Cybertruck when that comes out and a lot of people will obviously rush out to buy it. But what about these loyal truck buyers? They're only going to buy trucks from their manufacturer. Now benefit of the Cybertruck coming out is that it will show the true performance of what electric trucks can actually do and obviously the Rivian is bound to do the same thing. So when Ford releases their electric pickup truck, a lot of Ford buyers are going to be like, yes, finally electric pickup truck. I'm out. I'm going to go buy that. So that is obviously going to be an improvement because less people are actually going to buy an internal combustion engine and they'll see, okay, electric pickup trucks are really, really good. So looking at it that way, if people don't think that the Cybertruck is a real truck in the first place and are extremely loyal to their own manufacturer that they've pretty much bought trucks for pretty much for their entire life, then why will they even consider the Cybertruck as a truck, especially when you look at it and it doesn't look like a truck. It looks something completely different. There are many aspects to this that many people don't really consider. Now I've probably left out a lot of aspects that I probably missed out on. So if you have any, you can just leave a comment down below and I'll probably make another video covering those. Now loyal truck buyers aren't the majority of the market. It's not like 95% of truck buyers are loyal and only going to buy that truck. Maybe that might be the case, but I don't think the number is 95%. It might be closer to around 50-60%, but nowhere close to 90%. So what is a truck used for? Because these days, most of the time, no one uses a truck as a truck. They use a truck as an SUV. Pretty much it's an SUV replacement. And here in North America, where gas is super cheap, unlike Europe, we can buy these big trucks with V8 engines and just drive them and not care about running costs because gas here is actually really, really cheap. And I'm talking about new truck buyers here, not used truck buyers, because I know a lot of used truck buyers who actually use their truck as a truck and they want to haul stuff and they need a truck to do work. So for those 85% of people who are going to use a cyber truck or just another truck as an SUV, you might want to consider looking at these features of an electric pickup truck and just might want to go that route. So the Cybertruck is gonna have air suspension, which is gonna make your ride extremely smooth. I think the Dodge Ram has it, and it has won the luxury car of the year award for a truck. If you know anything about trucks, trucks aren't luxury cars. Older trucks used to have those really stiff suspensions and everything because you're gonna put a lot of weight at the back, so it smoothens it out then. But the air suspension, it can work both ways. When it's loaded up, it'll be super smooth. When it's empty, it'll be super smooth as well. Now, because it's an electric pickup truck like the Cybertruck or a Rivian, they're gonna cost next to nothing to run. Now, even though gas is really cheap here, it still costs quite a lot to run a pickup truck compared to using electricity. So if you can run a truck for about one fifth to one tenth of the cost that it costs to fuel up a regular V8 truck or anything, you're probably gonna switch to those, especially considering that's pretty much a free truck in between if you're spending four to $500 a month on fuel depending on how much you drive, of course. Now, because of that, most people just use a truck for commuting. They just go to work and then they come back and that's it. They never haul anything. Maybe once a year, a friend might need a pickup truck for moving or just hauling a couch or something. And at that point, people are like, my truck is a useful truck. And that way, yeah, sure, useful truck, but you could just rent one or something or have an SUV and just rent a trailer from U-Haul or something, I don't know. So in that sense, the Cybertruck doesn't necessarily need to be a truck for the majority of the new truck buyer market if 85% of the people just simply don't use a truck as a truck. So what about the other 15%? Now obviously the Cybertruck needs to comply with those people as well. They need to have a truck that works as a truck. So what are some things that those people might actually be doing with their truck? They might tow, they might haul some stuff, and they might want to go on like really far road trips or something and just have a truck as their only vehicle that they use for pretty much everything and for that i think the cyber truck is going to be great with a six and a half foot bed tons of storage you can pretty much use the front as your toolbox a lot of people actually keep their toolbox in their bed which obviously uses your bed space precious bed space if you say and so you can keep all your tools in the front and then you also have actually side pillars in the walls of the bed and you can put a lot more storage in there cables other tools or whatever you really want and plus you got even more space under the bed. So at the back, you open the tailgate, you open an under bed storage space, which is quite useful if, in my opinion, because that's going to give this truck an immense amount of space. So it also has a ramp for the bed. So if you're going to carry some stuff that you might want to like tow or just haul, you just put that stuff in the bed itself, like an ATV or just, I don't know, maybe a smart car or something, just anything that needs like a ramp. You can just use the truck's ramp itself. It also has 220 volt outlets 
up to 220 volts and 110 volt outlets. Now the new F-150, I think the 2021 model also comes with this because it has an onboard generator which generates about 7.2 kilowatts, so about 220 volts at maximum. That basically what your dryer uses so enough to power your entire house for quite a long time and this has proven very useful for those people who've been stuck in Texas with the storms and that's actually been pretty useful and a lot of people actually used it and it was great and I think a lot of people actually transitioned from their other trucks like a Chevy or Dodge and now want a Ford F-150 for that reason. It also has 16 inches of ground clearance for people who want to go like off-roading which is quite a lot I think the Ford F-150 has like 9 or 10 inches so lower than the Cybertruck of course now because it's an electric pickup truck you might wonder where can you charge this thing now the Cybertruck actually has the entire supercharger network you can go pretty much across country across Europe pretty much anywhere but the Cybertruck is going to be localized in North America in the beginning at least so you can pretty much go anywhere in North America for now. Uh, Southern Canada is covered. Everywhere in the U.S. is covered. You can even go down to Mexico and everything. So overall, the charging is not going to be as big of an issue. And if you get the really long range battery pack with the 500 mile range variant, you're not going to have to charge up that often in the first place. Even if you're towing, you still got about 200 to 250 miles of range between charges, even while towing. And that overall is just going to make your Cybertruck or just a truck for a lot of people just very useful so people who are going to use it for an SUV can get like the long range model with 300 miles of range who are never going to tow anything in their life and then the people who are going to tow and use it for like really hardcore work they can get the 500 mile range variant and it doesn't dent it doesn't space it doesn't scratch or anything you don't have to worry it's a nice tough truck so in conclusion I think this truck is actually a real truck I think many people haven't realized it they haven't really been introduced to it and a lot of people have this prejudice that EVs are not that good some truck buyers are obviously open-minded so props to them but a lot of others aren't so I think when those open-minded ones actually look at the Cybertruck and if they consider to buy it and show their friends that's gonna open up the market massively especially when they figure out that the Cybertruck is just an exceptionally insane vehicle so overall I think the Cybertruck is definitely a truck it's a pickup truck and it can do a lot more than some other normal pickup trucks can do and you'll save a lot in the long run too so what if it's a few more thousand dollars more expensive than your Ford F-150 you're saving so much in fuel and maintenance that you're not even gonna worry about you can buy a brand new car and just make the payments just with their fuel costs. So yeah, I think the Cybertruck is literally going to revolutionize the entire truck market, the entire American truck market. And I think in the future, probably by 2030, we'll see at least a couple more models of a truck that resemble the Cybertruck. So if you think it's ugly, more trucks are going to come out that are going to look quote unquote ugly. So congratulations. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you there. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.